Congratulations, you survived your first genetics exam. It's the first semester for David Hammond at Capital University. If you are a type O individual. A college student who in many ways is in a class all by himself. He just graduated from Columbus State Community College in May, a few days before graduating from high school, thanks to Ohio's College Credit Plus program that allowed him to start taking college classes in seventh grade. Today, David earns his Associate of Science degree and will transfer to Capital University as a junior, majoring in pre-med with a full scholarship. You didn't let me finish. Dave, David is just 15 years old. Gasps for the youngest ever graduate from Columbus State. I graduated high school and two years of college at the age of 15, and hopefully I'll graduate with my bachelor's degree in pre-med at the age of 17, and then I would want to go to a med school, and then I'd graduate at 21, and then I'd have to do residencies, and then by the time I'm actually like a full heart surgeon, I would be like 25, 26. David's not the only Hammond who's driven to learn. Literally, he's still too young to drive to school. 17-year-old sister Dania is at Cap Law School. 19-year-old sister Summer sits next to him in that genetics class. As for their two youngest siblings, no college yet. David credits family and friends for his and his siblings' educational success, but there's more to it. Also, you have to have the confidence and you have to want to do it. David's always wanted to be a doctor and willing to do whatever it took. So again, in this case, we're looking at cross- And back in that genetics class, as they practice blood typing, David knows he's still got a lot to learn. Anyone can try and work hard to be a doctor, but they have to have that extra step to become a great doctor, which is what I want to become.